I saw these kids crying. I saw these kids who wouldn't go to the bathroom because they were afraid. A Valley School superintendent facing discipline for his part in a fake school shooting designed to be a drill. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Berugian. And I'm Alex Zambaleki in a Valley superintendent in the hot seat tonight. Teachers, parents in Raisin City calling for the resignation of their superintendent, Juan Sandoval. It comes after he admittedly authorized a surprise active school shooting drill using a masked man with a fake gun. A board meeting held earlier today. KC24's AJ Cotto was there. And AJ, Sandoval's actions will have consequences. Well, Alex, on board members came back from a closed session meeting with a 5 0 vote to discipline Sandoval. They say, like teachers and students, they knew nothing about this drill and do not condone his actions. I saw these kids crying. I saw these kids who wouldn't go to the bathroom because they were afraid. The community speaking out after Raisin City Superintendent Juan Sandoval authorized a terrifying drill without telling staff or students. A masked man with a fake gun posing as an active shooter banging on classroom doors and windows. I was afraid and I think he should have had the decency to let us know that this drill was coming. We had no clue. And it was very scary. Supporters also stepping up for Sandoval, who was not in attendance. He made a mistake, but it was in the heart of what is good for everybody. It was in the heart of what's good for these children. The school board deciding in a closed door session, Sandoval would face consequences for his actions. By a vote of five to zero, that the district will pursue appropriate disciplinary action, and the board will schedule another meeting to discuss that action and give Mr. Sandoval. An opportunity to respond. Board members say they were not aware of Sandoval's plan. We're going to do a little bit more research as to what appropriate action would be for uh, the lack of judgment in this situation. Many who called for Sandoval's resignation will now have to wait for his response. With the board not knowing that that uh, mock drill was even taking place, um, to me, that should have been something that he should have been fired for. And board members say they'll talk about Sandoval's future in an upcoming meeting, which will likely take place next month. They say his punishment could range from suspension to termination. In studio, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters. Thank you, AJ.